of the members present, please um, answer in the affirmative. Roll call and uh, Commissioner Anderson. Present. Gentry. Present. Commissioner Haynes. Present. Commissioner Hughes. Present. Commissioner Johnston. Commissioner Scott Barnes. Present. Thank you so much. The Parks Board must vote on the record that the COVID-19 pandemic requires it to hold a telephonic meeting as permitted under the governor's executive order number 16 and that contrary rules are suspended. If anyone would like to propose a motion to adopt a telephonic meeting, please raise your hand and I will call on you. Commissioner Hughes. So moved. Is there a second? Commissioner Scott Barnes. Second, I second it. Thank you so much. It's been properly moved and seconded. Are there any comments? We'll take a roll call uh, vote to adopt the telephonic meeting. Uh, Commissioner Anderson. Approve. Commissioner Gentry. Approve. Commissioner Haynes. Approve. Commissioner Hughes. Approve. Commissioner Scott Barnes. Approve. Thank you so much. The motion passes. I just wanted to add a note for our audience. For those listening at home, the Parks Board members here are calling in remotely. They are in separate places. When I ask them to raise their hand, that's an action occurring through the software. We will move now to the appeal of decisions pursuant to the provisions of 2.68.030 of the Metropolitan Code of Laws. Please take notice that decisions of the Metropolitan Board of Parks and Recreation may be appealed to the Chancery Court of Davidson County for review under a common lit common law writ of certiorari. And the appeal must be filed within 60 days after entry of a final decision by the board. Any person or other entity considering an appeal should consult with an attorney to ensure that time and procedural requirements are met. We will now move to the consideration of minutes. Have you had an opportunity to read the minutes from our May 5th meeting? Is there a motion for approval? Commissioner Scott Barnes? I move to approve the minutes. Thank you so much. Uh, Commissioner Anderson? Second. Thank you so much. It's been properly moved and seconded. I will now take a roll call vote. Commissioner Anderson? Approve. Commissioner Gentry? Approve. Commissioner Haynes? Approve. Commissioner Hughes? Approve. Commissioner Scott Barnes? Approved. Thank you so much. The motion passes. We'll move now to Metro Council defer referrals. Excuse me. Are there any referrals from council members present? Director Odom? I don't have any council referrals. Um, I see Council Member Van Reese's hand up at this time. So please recognize her. Councilwoman Van Reese, you're recognized. Uh, yes, hello and good afternoon. Uh, just wanted to send greetings from the Parks, Libraries, and Arts uh, Committee. Um, as the new chair for this month, uh, I'm just going to do my, my best to attend uh, or work <laughs> on these meetings uh, so that I can be as informed and as helpful as possible uh, during the process. Uh, and uh, look forward to being helpful. I thank each of uh, the board members for their service to uh, the city. Uh, and as we uh, move forward with uh, a lot of concerns regarding um, the pending referendum and uh, concerns about um, really this city standing up to say out loud what it is that we find to be uh, of value to us, uh, that I want to uh, assure this board that I intend to bring a, a full a throated approach uh, to the values of uh, our parks department. So um, I will continue to um, serve along with you and am here if you need me. Thanks. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate your time. I want to uh, recognize um, the presence of our commissioner, uh, uh, Commissioner Cruz Johnson, for the record. He is in attendance in the meeting. Madam Chair. Welcome, welcome, Commissioner Johnson. Yes. Excuse me, Madam Chair. I just wanted to say I, uh, my screen is a bit obscured, so I don't see any other council members. I know Council Member Hurt was here, but my screen is obscured, so I may be missing someone. Okay. 
I don't see any hands I can see, but thank you so much. We're moving now to old business 09-18-05, representatives from Sheekwood to present parking plan to the board. We did have a acquisition committee meeting this morning. Is there a report from that committee, please? Yes, ma'am. The acquisitions committee met and recommends approval with uh, the changes per the staff recommendation, including 25% of the funds going to Metro National. Thank you so much. If anyone would like to propose a motion to this effect, please raise your hand. Commissioner Hughes. I move approval of, of this um, proposal. Thank you so much. If anyone would like to propose uh, to make a second to the to the to the to this motion, I see uh, Commissioner Scott Barnes. Excuse me. Yeah, a second. Thank you so much. Does anyone have any comments on this motion? Please raise your hand. Seeing none, I will. It's been properly moved and seconded. I will now take a roll call vote. Um, Commissioner Anderson. Approved. Commissioner Gentry. Approved. Commissioner Haynes. Approved. Commissioner Hughes. Approved. Commissioner Johnson. Approved. Commissioner Scott Barnes. Approved. Thank you so much. Moving now to 02-20-04, Mr. Philip Claiborne, founder and president emeritus of the Friends of Two Rivers Mansion, requests the board to accept wayfinding signage in the amount of $7,000 for the mansion and the 1802 house from the Friends of Two Rivers Mansion. Uh, the signage committee did meet this morning. Is there a report from the signage committee? The committee met and unanimously approved. Thank you so much. If anyone would like to propose a motion to this effect, effect please raise your hand and I will call on you. Commissioner Hughes. I so move for approval. Thank you so much, Commissioner Scott Barnes. I second it. Thank you so much. It's been properly moved and seconded. Are there any comments or questions? Seeing none, we'll move to the roll call, roll call vote. Uh, Commissioner Anderson. Approved. Thank you, Commissioner Gentry. Approved. Commissioner Haynes. Approved. Commissioner Hughes. Approved. Commissioner Johnston. Approved. Commissioner Scott Barnes. Approved. Thank you so much. The motion passes. Moving now to 08-20-03, the Honorable Sharon W. Hurt, member of council at large, requests the board to rename Hadley Park, Nashville Freedom Riders Park. The naming committee met prior to this meeting. Is there a report from the naming committee? <laughs> yes, the naming committee met, <laughs> and um, the recommendation is to review the naming policy <laughs> with the policy committee um, in three meetings over the next three months. Thank you so much for that um, report. If anyone would like to propose a motion to this effect, please raise your hand and I will call on you. But Suzanne, I want to clarify, and we would not take yes. up this matter for at least four months within that period as well. <clears throat> it was four months delay, but meet three times, right? Um, the motion was for four months, but to meet three times within the four months and let Commissioner Steele you pick a time when everybody can meet. Commissioner Gentry. Uh, I understand that was all part of the motion. Just want to make sure that we're not saying if we can get it resolved before then, that we won't take it up before then. I mean, I don't think that those two things are, I think those are two separate things, that we're giving ourselves enough time, some time, but I mean, there's only so much to talk about. I don't know why we're, I don't, I just don't want us to, to say we're not gonna discuss it for four months. We're just giving ourselves a four month window to take a look <laughs> and make a decision. Okay. 
Commissioner Hughes. Sorry about that. You'd think I'd have the muting and unmuting down by now. Um, <laughs> So I think we need to restate the motion um, to be clear that we're all hearing the same thing. And um, I might suggest, um, based on what um, Commissioner Gentry just, just she, I, I like the way she said it, that we will consider this no, in, um, no longer than four months. But if we get the naming policy um, decisions, I mean, and I'm not stating the motion because that's, it's Commissioner Anderson's, but it could be sooner, but it won't be longer. Is what I think it should reflect. I agree. With the three, with the three um, meetings, H having the three meetings for the policy discussion. Yes, Madam Chair, may I ask a question at this time? Yes, uh, Dr. Dr. Odom. Thank you. Just for point of clarification, um, <clears throat> while you're reviewing this policy, are other what about other naming renaming requests that come forward? Are you saying that you will not consider any other renaming requests before you have reviewed and amended or whatever needs to happen with this policy until that that is resolved? I don't think we I don't think we are addressing that at all. I think we're addressing the naming policy. And probably that would mean I would think we wouldn't entertain any other naming until we made okay. sure we tell us how we wanted it to be. That answers my question. And then just a, another point of clarification, um, Commissioner Gentry is chair of the policy committee, just so everybody's aware. If we could, uh, Commissioner uh, Scott Barnes, could we restate the motion or if you need assistance from Sure. Yeah, I, I'm happy to have assistance at any point. I'm going to try. And um, uh, re, the recommendation from the naming committee um, was to review the naming policy with the policy committee chaired by Sharon Gentry with all board members um, on that committee um, for three meetings over the next three months with the limit of four months to review this particular item. What'd you think? <laughs> Did I get it? Thanks. Thank you so much. Is there a second to the to the motion? <clears throat> Commissioner Haynes? Second. Thank you so much. It's been properly moved and seconded. Was there a question, Commissioner Hughes? Commissioner Hughes? No, I was just going to second if someone else did. Thank you so much. It's been properly moved and seconded. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll now take a roll call vote. Could I, could I just, sorry to jump in here. Sorry, yeah. I wanted to jump in on the discussion part. One thing that occurred to me that came up when we were learning that in 2006, there was a big review of the, po the naming policy. It sounds like the policy went from two sentences to three pages and that um, um, was, uh, from what I understand, it was at Parks, staff members as well as parks board members and there was pretty extensive um, um, research and comparison to other cities um, and I've found that information really helpful um, my I guess point to uh, this discussion is whether or not this board would entertain adding additional people to this conversation so is it, are we limiting it to just the parks board members, um, the, the, the reviewing the naming policy just to the parks board members, or would we entertain adding um, park staff members or any additional people? I would defer to our chair for policy. Yes, I totally missed That was long. What happened? <laughs> what, what, could we add um, members of our staff when we did this process in 2006, when the Parks Board uh, did this process in 2006? It was a joint committee of Parks Board and staff. 
um, that could bring in the history of, of what had happened in that time frame. And so uh, Commissioner Scott Barnes was asking, is that a possibility at this time? Commissioner no, Scott Barnes, is that correct? Restatement? Yeah, exactly. I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm asking the, the rest of the board as well. Is, okay. there, is there value in adding uh, park staff members? Because there sounds like there was kind of a research component to the um, the name policy. I think there is. I think so. I agree. And uh, Commissioner Gentry did uh, answer in the affirmative as well. Are there any other questions? We have a motion on the floor. And I, I apologize, I can't see everything as well. I don't know what is happening over here. But we do have a motion um, and a second. If there's no other discussion, I'll do a roll call vote. Um, Commissioner Anderson. Approve. Commissioner Gentry. Approve. Commissioner Gen uh, Haynes. Approve. Commissioner Hughes. Approve. Commissioner Johnston. Approve. Commissioner Scott Barnes. Approved. Thank you so much. The motion passes. 09-20-03, staff requests approval to enter into a license agreement, project number 19041-3269-94-BR-STP-2420 um, with the state of Tennessee to install, maintain, and operate a pedestrian walking trail on an existing section of the Stones River Greenway. The Acquisition Committee met this morning and we'll now hear a report from the Acquisition Committee. Yes, we met and recommend approval. Thank you so much. If anyone would like to propose a motion to this effect, please raise your hand and I will call on you, Commissioner Anderson. I make a motion we approve. Commissioner Scott Barnes. A second. Thank you so much. Are there any questions or comments? Seeing none, we will move now to the roll call vote. Commissioner Anderson? Approved. Commissioner Gentry? Approved. Commissioner Haynes? Approved. Commissioner Hughes? Approved. Commissioner Johnson? Approved. Commissioner Scott Barnes? Approved. Thank you so much, the motion passes. Moving now to the consent agenda, we will take that all as one. Um, unless there are any questions or comments or question, questions or comments regarding that uh, consent, consent agenda. Seeing none, we'll move now to new business. 10-20-02, uh, Ms. Jenny Hannon, Executive Director of the Friends of Warner Parks, requests the board <clears throat> to accept a grant in the amount of it's $150,000 for the purpose of contributing to the repair of the Warner Parks Nature Center roof and chimney. This is a Metro Parks renovation project in which Metro Parks is funding $477,000 and project will be managed by Metro Parks maintenance staff. Pardon me, Madam Chair, excuse me. Yes. Did, you to that. Did, you, um, did you all vote um, on the consent agenda? We did not. Please excuse me. I'm moving quickly. If anyone would like to propose a motion to accept the consent agenda, I will accept the motion. Commissioner Anderson. I make a motion we accept. Thank you so much, Commissioner uh, Gentry. Second. Well, now, if there are any comments again on the, on the consent agenda, we'll take those. Seeing none, I'll take a roll call vote. Commissioner Anderson. Approve. Commissioner Gentry. Commissioner Haynes. Approve. Commissioner Hughes. Approve. Approve. Thank you. Commissioner Johnston. Approve. Commissioner Scott Barnes. Approve. Thank you so much. The motion passes and please do excuse me. I'll move back to new business 10-20-03. Uh, 
1-800-GIVE-2-1-0-2. Ms. Jenny Hannon, Executive Director of the Friends of Warner Parks, requests the board to accept a grant in the amount of $150,000 for the purpose of contributing to the repair of the Warner Parks Nature Center roof and chimney. This is a Metro Parks renovation project in which Metro Parks is funding $477,000 and the project will be managed by Metro Parks maintenance staff. Is there a recommendation from staff? Staff recommends approval. Thank you so much. If anyone would like to make a motion to this effect, please raise your hand and I will call on you. Commissioner Hughes. Still moved. Thank you so much. If anyone would like to make a second. Commissioner Gentry. Second. Are there any questions? It's been properly moved and seconded. I'll now take a roll call vote. Um, Commissioner Anderson. Approved. Commissioner Gentry. Approved. Commissioner Haynes. Approved. Commissioner Hughes. Approved. Commissioner Johnston. Approved. And Commissioner Scott Barnes. Approved. Thank you so much. The motion passes. We'll now move to our capital projects update with um, Tim Nash. Thank you. And I'll try to be quick, just hitting on changes from last month. Um, at Beeman Park, uh, the wayfinding signage installation will start this week. And when that's completed this fall, that will allow us to open those 10 miles of trail to the public. Uh, in Centennial Park, this is a new one on the list, the Children's Memory Garden. We've been working for some time with the organization that originally created the Children's Victims of Violence Memorial in Centennial Park. And this is a replacement memorial for them. So that design is complete and it is now in the queue for construction bidding. And that is um, for the most part privately funded. Uh, Centennial Park phase two, which is the big project currently behind the fence. Uh, we will begin um, opening uh, the areas of that construction zone as they are completed this fall. So it should come down um, from around the Parthenon um, later this month. Um, similar time frame for 27th Avenue, and then uh, we'll probably be getting into November before the Great Lawn is reopened. There are some other uh, sections of the construction zone that uh, will probably continue to be fenced and construction will continue into winter, and that is largely due to um, some supply chain issues with the quarry that is producing the uh, crab orchard stone. Uh, Fort Negley, the planning RFP for the Fort Negley master plan uh, was released by Metro Procurement last month and the deadline for proposals is October 23rd. And then uh, last week, the LA restoration at Percy Warner Park was completed and um, we're grateful to Friends of Warner Park for their work on that. And that's what I have, thank you. Thank you so much for the report. Uh, Commissioner Hughes, you have your hand raised. Is that left over? Okay. Thank you so much. We'll move now to upcoming special activities and events with Jackie Jones. So good afternoon, everybody. So as we move into phase three of the reopening of Nashville, you can see our list of events is just a little bit longer. So in addition to the ongoing Harvard's market at Bellum View, the 12th and 12th South, Richland, and Donaldson. I have three other events in particular I'd like to call to your attention. The first is the Music City Small Business Festival. It's scheduled from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on October 31st in Hadley Park. Now, this event is going to focus primarily on exposure and networking for minority-owned businesses. The second event, is Get Your Caboose Kit. It's a 45-minute bar from the fitness class. It's scheduled to begin at 8.30 a.m. in Bellevue Park, which is also known as Red Caboose Park, on October 17th. And finally, the Fall Family Drive-In is scheduled from 5 to 10 p.m. on October 31st at Ted Road Soccer Field. Uh, so far, they have a battle of the bands with three different Metro High School bands scheduled. Now, all of these events will meet the CDC pandemic guidelines. 
and we have these and other events that are on our website. So if you need more information, just go on our website or give us a call. That concludes my report. Thank you so much. We'll now move to the report of the director, Director Odom. Thank you, Madam Chair and Parks Board members. Um, in reference to the email that I sent you late last week about um, our hiring freeze, operations, savings, and capital spending um, suspension, and as was mentioned by Council Member Van Reese earlier in um, our meeting, um, I just want to uh, reiterate the implications of, of such a reduction related to the referendum. Um, the implications of uh, approval of that referendum are serious for our department, both from operations um, and capital, uh, a capital perspective. So in regard to operations, um, a cut of 35% um, would um, result in uh, layoffs and closures uh, for our department. And so I have uh, engaged our senior staff team and, and made them aware of um, made them aware of the possibilities, and uh, we are prepared to um, move however the budget dictates. Um, so we will keep you abreast of of uh, or I will keep you abreast of what's going on in the department as it relates to um, this referendum. I will add, and I think I did put in the email that I sent to you that um, even before um, the pending referendum, um, again, we are in a hiring freeze. We have, a hiring freeze has been implemented and um, a request for reduced spending. And we are, of course, complying with all of that, but I do want to make you aware not, or remind you, really, I know that you're aware that our department um, is already understaffed and underfunded. And so freezing positions um, and um, kind of uh, streamlining uh, our spending um, will certainly um, manifest in some, um, maybe some shortfalls in the department. Um, but I want to assure you that our staff is uh, as committed as ever to doing the work, good work um, of serving, serving the city. And I, I feel like you all know that and aware of that, but I did just want to, to make that statement. Um, and I, I move forward. So despite um, the looming threat of um, potential reductions, the good work of our department does continue. I'm sure you all have uh, taken a look at the, um, the uh, press releases and newsletters that that come to you every month or every couple of weeks to keep you abreast of what's going on. But, and I think you probably received something about um, the neighborhood community centers. If you were, will recall, this fiscal year, we received an appropriation of $450,000 to open neighborhood community centers on Saturday. It would be for a partial day, but open nevertheless, and we are Happy that last Saturday was our first Saturday open. We were able to open seven centers. Um, we have not moved to all of them given um, our need to uh, streamline our spending, but are grateful to have um, those centers open. And we know that folks out in the community are, are grateful to have those Saturday hours um, at the community center. And we look forward when the time is right to expanding to, expanding to all of the centers. Um, as you know, COVID-19 has impacted our department um, like everyone else, and um, some of our programming has had to shift. Um, so uh, the Centennial Event Shelter has become home to the Hadley Park Line Dancers and also the Metro Parks Dance Classes. And I uh, understand that that is very uh, popular, and that's just another way that our staff has worked to pivot in its effort to continue to, to serve our community. Um, classes are beginning again at the uh, sportsplex as we move to phase three in our Nashville reopening phase. And then too, as I mentioned, um, a lot of our programming in the department shifted to uh, virtual offerings as a result of um, COVID-19 and the um, limited capacities 
um, but our dis disabilities program was one of those, and they will host a bocce ball for participants with social, social distancing. If you re will recall, we've had a few presentations from um, folks from the um, disabilities program and the friends of uh, the friends group for the disabilities program to talk about um, what that program offers. And if you recall, there's a waiting list because it's such a dynamic um, and a, a great program. So just wanted to make you aware of that. And then finally, um, as I uh, shared with you the email last Thursday about the proposal from the Historical Capital Corridor, Corridor Foundation to um, delay the improvements or delay the improvements to Church Street Park until spring. Um, and uh, I would request that uh, on your behalf that, that they come and I'll be at the next Parks Board meeting to talk about this proposal um, to, um, to delay those improvements. I believe some of the improvements have been made. There is a fence um, that obstructs access to the park, uh, which is understandable when improvements are being made, but um, that limits access or denies access nonetheless. And I know that at least part of your approval uh, was hinged upon the limited time period of um, occupation or that the park would not be available. So uh, with your approval, I will ask that the HCCF Foundation and representatives be on the next park board agenda to, to um, answer your questions. And that's all I have. Thank you for that. Thank you so much for the report. I do have uh, see Commissioner Anderson. Um, Monique, I want to ask you a question about uh, Church Street. So the agreement with Church Street Park ended yesterday or today, correct? The 5th, yes. It was supposed to end the 5th. So they just, so the, they're, it's not ending because who's, I mean, it was there, were they given permission to extend it? And then, then I saw um, an announcement in the paper today. Was that, did that come out of the Parks Department, the announcement? No, article? it looked like the, the, um, that article in the paper looked exactly like the email that I sent you out that we received on Thursday is what it looked like to me. So the Parks Department did not give the paper that information that was in the article? No, today. no. Okay. Um, so I think it is a very good idea to have them come in front of the park board because they're, they're closing the public public property a lot longer than we approved. Uh, that's a very important park downtown, as everyone knows. And I think we're, we need to have a, the discussion with them. But I, you know, I don't know where we stand on, on a department or to use the word you know, legally because of process, why, how they can just extend, you know, keeping the park closed when they were supposed to be out yesterday. And then also that, that article was a little, um, I think unnecessary when they haven't gotten approval from us to do that. So I just want to make that point. Thank you, Commissioner Anderson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Director Odom. We'll be sure that 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 is on our next Parks Board agenda. Um, announcements, requests for future agenda items and open items. Our next board meeting is scheduled for November 3rd, 2020, Election Day. Unless there is opposition, I would like to keep the meeting date and time the same. Is, is there any issue with that for Parks Board members? Commissioner Scott Barnes. I, I'm, I'm working um, on the voting. So I'm not going to be able to attend. I'd be happy for it to change, but I'll, I'll also can miss it. That was my recommendation. Uh, that's why I wanted to ask if anyone was volunteering or anything. And so uh, looking at the calendar, we could move up one week is usually our practice to move up one week for our meeting. That would be November 10th, same time, 12th noon. Let me get back to where I can see you all. Is there any comment or uh, any questions regarding a move to one week following for our meeting? That will be November 10th. Okay, seeing none, uh, like the record reflect that we will meet on 
Tuesday, November 10th, 12 noon for our Parks Board meeting. Are there any additional announcements, requests for future agenda items or open items? No, ma'am. Okay, and seeing none, um, I guess we will now move to adjournment. Um, I'll accept the motion for adjournment. Commissioner Gentry? Move to Thank you so much. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Commissioner Anderson. It's been properly moved and seconded. You all go home. Well, go, go on back to work. Have a good day. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Bye-bye. This has been a service of the Metro Nashville Network. If you would like to see this presentation again, or for more information about this and other programs, visit nashville.org.